reading. Drunken Master Paul here, and I have a big announcement. It has to do with my bar, the Monkey Bar. And uh, what's happening is we're going to do yet another remodel on it. Why, you ask? Well, you can't really tell, but I am barely fitting back here. There's this much room between the bar and the shelves. And it's that way because right here is the furnace. I'm not just poking Betty in the boob. It's uh, actually the furnace is there. So this was all the room I had. But we decided we're going to put a central AC in the house. And because of that, we are going to have the furnace moved back. So it's time for a monkey bar remodel part two. Okay, so here's the back bar area, and um, this is where the fridge used to be, but it also has bare stud walls and a bunch of crap. So I'm gonna sheetrock that. I'm also going to put in a uh, drop ceiling here. Now this has always been exposed, and I figured that while I'm gonna doing this, let's go ahead and do it right. Now, moving over to the actual bar area, right now it is piled with all kinds of crap because, well, that's just the way things go. Up here, the ceiling, that used to be all my nice scotches, and that's all been taken out. And again, we have this exposed ceiling. Now, something I was going to do was going to be kind of leave it that way and just paint it and make it kind of an industrial look. But then I decided I want to do something a little bit nicer. The new furnace with AC. We love it. And now there's just a cubic crap ton of work to do. And, you know, I'm just you know, stalling now talking to you guys. Okay, here we are the next day, still working on the monkey bar, and I have my, my shirt of the day. Yep, wind up, shot down, fireback straight crown today. Anyway, so here's what I've got so far. Um, come on back here, you can see if you look up, here is the drop ceiling that I put in. I'm gonna put some can lights in there today, and we'll be sheetrocking all this stuff. All these walls we're gonna finish. Now in the bar proper, here we go, this is all framed in. This is gonna cover up the vents and give you a little bit of a drop ceiling up there to get it all finished. All right, we have got the lights installed, including the ones actually over the bar, yay! Right, we've got the framing in, we've got the lights up, and now it's time to rock! Sheet rock! So here we go, I've got the sheetrock pretty much done. So yeah, some of the edges are maybe a little rough and maybe I got some gaps here and there, but this is my first time really doing sheetrock, so, you know, whatever. We'll take care of that in the mud phase, you know, because you've got a white crap, smear some mud in it. Okay, here we are at day three of Monkey Bar 3.0 Rebuild. I have no idea if it's really day three or not. I'm just making up numbers at this point because I've been doing this for a really long time and I have pretty much forgotten to put on pants today. So what we are right now is everything's sheetrock and I've also mocked up the center wall. This is where the, the booze and the shelves are gonna go. And uh, so I've got these ready to go, but they're also in little separate frames. So I'm gonna take these back outside because I have to put sheetrock on the back. Otherwise you can see right through them and that would be dumb. When they get installed, I'm just gonna be able to put them in in sections and just go burp, burp, and zzz, zzz, and it will be in place. So that's where we are right now and I better get to work because otherwise I'm just gonna shoot video all day long and not get dick done. And dick hates that. Okay, 
so I've got all the sheetrock done, I've got the, all the seams taped and mudded, and now I'm gonna go ahead and put a texture on the wall. And why am I gonna do a texture? Well, primarily because I suck at mudding sheetrock. Uh, I did the best I could, but this is my first try, so uh, yeah. It's a lot more difficult than it looks on the videos that I see on YouTube, so go figure. But I got pretty close, and what I'm gonna do is a, a, a texture on here called Skip Trowel. It sounds like the name of a detective in like a futuristic Wizard of Oz sequel detective film noir kind of thing. We're gonna call Skip Trowel, and he'll solve the mystery, or find the wizard, or punch some guy in the... Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and do a Skip Trowel texture on this, and it'll look beautiful, and you will never know how talent-free I was in putting this up. <laughs> To learn how to do this, don't watch my video. Go to C. Jane Drill uh, YouTube channel and check her stuff out. It's fantastic. I believe it was Leah who showed this one and uh, she does a much better job explaining it than some drunk dude trying to build a bar. So go C. Jane Drill. Drill, Jane Drill. Drill, 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 drill. Okay, so we've got the sheetrock up, we've got it taped, we've got it textured, we've got it all primered, and now finally, it's time to paint. Let's do it to this. The only way I could have made this more awkward is if I decided to wear a hoop skirt and swim fins. And now this video is literally about watching paint dry. Do, 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 do. So we got the whole back area all sheetrocked and mudded and textured and painted and I'm so excited to move on to the next thing. And then, literally while I was laying in bed I thought, wait a second, there's, there's something wrong. There was a vent here. Yes, I actually sheetrocked, mudded, textured, painted over the whole damn thing before it even occurred to me. I completely covered up the vent. So now, actually it's very funny, I'm not even pissed, that's how ridiculous this is. So I've got to uh, kind of work out where that is and then drill some probe holes. Ooh, I'm going to be probing and uh, find out where the damn thing is, open it up so I can put my vent back in. Ha! Yes, this is DMP at his finest. Got it on the first try. <laughs> Focus on me, bitch. I really didn't think that would work. And there we go. One vent recovered. Mwah. Check it out. We've got the middle wall up now. This is where all the uh, the booze shelves will go. And I got these spiffy holes drilled where the uh, the LED lights are gonna go. And um, we'll put the, the screens in place. Um, behind here, I'm gonna put some lights. I've got this all painted nice and white to reflect light at you. And uh, yeah, I'm kind of in the home stretch now. So it's just kind of buttoning everything up, getting things cleaned up so we have a livable monkey bar again. Check it out. I've got these screens up on what's going to be the booze wall. These are really cool screens I got from Habitat for Humanity. Uh, it was like 80 bucks for a set of four, which gave me eight panels. It's really cool. And I put in LED color change lighting in behind it. Very super cool. Then all the booze will go on this. And uh, check this out, you can change the colors. You go just, you go with like a, a straight red. Huh? Or, you know, greens. Or uh, check this one out. Disco, baby! Well, you can't tell by the way I use my walk. I'm a warm fan. I like to drink. Yeah, anyway, this is what you put up when you want people to leave the party. Ah! So there you go. Time to put up some booze shelves. Ha 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 ha. 
Awesome, so I finally got the shelves made. Now these have been kind of bugging me ever since I started this project on how the hell I'm gonna do these and do them right, but I'm pretty damn pleased the way they came out. I took the boards, I rounded the edges so they looked really nice, and took some dowling and some iron rods, painted the rods black, and made little rails to go all the way around to hold the booze in place. So we don't need a booze escape. But anyway, the shelves are done, now I just have to install them. It's gonna be awesome. Can you believe it? Monkey Bar 3.0 is finally finished! I'm so excited! Come check it out! Now remember, this used to be just bare wall. I mean, just raw studs. So we finished this up. It looks awesome. But the best part is in here. Take a look at the fantastic shells we got. Now I just, uh, I had to route the edges here to make them nice and smooth. Put these rails in because in case there's an earthquake. Ah! Down here, we have the new stainless steel counter. Now this used to be a table that I uh, just took the legs off and then I put some a board underneath it and then adapted it for this, including I had to cut a hole out for the sink. But that was about $500 cheaper than uh, actually getting an actual bar stainless steel top, which I don't want to do because I like building stuff and I'm a cheap bastard. So there you go. But yeah, back to this. This is the best bit. These screens I got from Habitat for Humanity um, cost me eight bucks for eight of them. And I only wound up using five and I broke one. But, but anyway, I put in uh, RGB rope lights in behind and they're on faders and chain stuff and I make a flashlight crazy thing to make people go away at the end of the night when we're done drinking. And uh, I also remember to put in my upper shelf. Remember where all the scotch and stuff used to be? That's uh, all back in place. And of course I finished the ceiling too. That used to be raw as well. Monkey Bar 3.0, check it out. It's all done. Um, what do you say? What, what's wrong with this picture? Ah, that looks so much nicer with all the booze and all the happy vodkas and then gins and bourbons and tequila, the Patron Chalfier. So there it is, the new, improved, remodeled monkey bar. I am so excited to get this done and super, super stoked the way it came out. A lot of the times I kind of take shortcuts and I just fine for now. But in this case, I really wanted this to be something really, really special. I spent a lot of time here, so I really wanted to put in the effort and I hope you agree, it really paid off. And to celebrate, I think I'll have a little something off the top shelf. Yeah, very special occasion. We're gonna have some of the 50 year old scotch. Yep. Just, just a splash. To the new improved monkey bar. Taste all 50 years in that. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Thank you so much for being patient and sticking with me. I know it's been a long time, but I hope you agree it was really worth the wait. Take care, and here's to the opening of the Monkey Bar 3.0. I'm in an accordion band. Wow, 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 in an accordion band. I'm coming to your town. I'll make annoying sounds. It's an accordion band. Wow, 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 wow. Grab all. Ah. Oh, that's terrible lighting. Check it out. Oh, I did have the sound on. Fantastic. Oh, that's been on all night long. Great. That battery should die soon. Don't go to drilljane.com. That's a totally different site. Dimmer switches. I am Locutus of Drill. Now just have to install them. It's gonna be awesome. And the door just opened. Liz just got home. Yay!